Hi guys, welcome to all and in this video we are going to see another important concept in Pandas called as data frames. So before that, let me introduce you one of the key points here. Like uh, data frames are used when we have multiple columns or features, whereas series are used when we have only one column. Always keep this in mind guys, this is very very important. And before going into the coding concept, let me first import the Pandas library using import keyword. Let me execute it guys. Yeah. You can see right the cell has executed so let's do all the coding concept in a task wise so that we can get much clarity okay so in the task one i am going to create data frame okay sample data frame for that we want to specify different columns right i am storing like column one and I have elements like uh, names of students and in column two we have names uh, marks of students okay now let me create the pandas data frame uh, using pd dot data frame in the same way how we have created series right by using pd dot series we, we are gonna use pd dot data frame here and provide in a dictionary format by using key value pair here key represent the column name and value represent the values okay and here marks also represent the uh, name of the column and column to represent values okay let me execute it guys and see what exactly it prints yeah you can see right the data frame is created by using names as columns and marks as columns and respective rows as one one data point okay now let's go and see the task two so in the task two let's get uh, let's get only first three rows here we have get all all rows right but i want to get only required rows now so how we can do that if i mention like df dot head and with the number of rows we want and we get exactly that many rows let me execute it guys yeah you can see see right we get exactly three rows okay now let's go into task three in the task three we have get uh, we want to get lost two rows L just like how we have get uh, the first three rows now we want to get lost two rows okay further we have to mention df dot tile okay let me execute it guys yeah you can see right the last two rows has printed now like these two rows okay yeah now let's go down the line yeah so now i want to see what all columns are present in my data frame so further we want to specify like the data frame name and also dot columns this will help us to get all the column names yeah you can see right the columns are respectively like names and marks okay now let's see the task file so like we have mentioned the uh, column names right but down the line if you want to change any column names i can uh, change like this so first of all you have to mention df.columns and provide the columns you want to change like uh, the change names okay yeah we want to uh, change into like stu uh, names of student into student names and also marks into student marks okay now let me execute it guys and see how it has went okay yeah you can see right the names have changed into stu underscore names and marks have changed into stu underscore marks you can exactly see the difference like names and marks okay yeah now let's see what is the task six okay now in the task is six now we want to change the row names just like how we have changed the uh, column names now i want to change the row names so in the same way i want to mention like df.index and all and we want to provide the names of call or rows okay let me execute it guys yeah you can see right the exact difference between the above data frame and now data frame okay so here we have indices like 0 1 2 3 and 4 now we have indices here like a b c d and e okay yeah so this is very very simple guys let you have to keep in mind like how we have to change columns like by, by using like df dot columns and if you want to change rows you want to mention like df dot index okay yeah let's go and see the task 7 okay now if i want to access only one column like we have two columns right uh, like student names and student marks but if i want to access only one column i need to mention like this like the data frame name and you want to mention the column name now let me execute it guys yeah you can see right the co the only one column is printed here like marks column 47 45 20 46 and so on okay now let's go and see task 8 so let's see how we can delete a single column because the de deleting also takes place when we are doing operations right so we have to simply mention the del keyword and uh, mention the column name we want to delete okay 
now let's execute this statement and see what will happen okay we have seen that the column name of student names had deleted here okay you got much clarity right so we have seen operations like deleting and also like how we can access only one column and also how we can change the index and also how we can change the column names and how to get all the column names in the data frame and so on okay let's go down and see what uh, other operations are present now okay yeah now let's create another uh, new data frame and see more functionalities now so i am creating exactly as we have done above by using column name as names and column 2 as marks and column 3 as grades okay now let me create the pandas data frame uh, by using dictionaries like key value pairs and here key represent the column names and values represent the column values okay now let me execute it guys yeah you can see right the data frame is created with the three columns like names marks and grades now let's go and see the task one here so let's access the row one rows from index one to three so that means i want the rows like uh, this row and also this row and this row okay now let's see how we can execute it now see how we uh, to do that okay so we need to provide the data frame and also to access rows we have to use dot i log okay and we need to mention the starting index and also the ending index now let me execute it guys yeah you can see right uh, if i want to get from index 1 to index 3 so index 1 is this one and index 3 is this one so i have mentioned here is 4 because 4 is exclusive okay you can see right how we can uh, access the rows here yeah now let's go and see another task so now let's access all the rows from index 1 to index 3 like just as we have done above but uh, this time i want to get only the column 2 okay so for that we need to mention the row indices and also column indices okay now let me execute it guys yeah you can see right so uh, df dot dialog for getting the rows and also the row indices and the column index here only to represent that respective column only okay that like this one okay yeah so you have get to know how we can access the rows and also how we can access particular columns with respect to rows okay so the task 3 here is accessing all rows and columns further we want to use just as like above like df dot dialog and we want to specify this column and column that means we want to get all columns and rows yeah you can see right how we have access all these the data frame okay now if i want to perform like mathematical operation let's see how we can do that so now in the above data frame let's get all the student who got marks uh, greater than 30 okay so that means we want to access like uh, a student name h1 and kiran and sandeep okay let's execute this and see how it went okay you can see right so all the students who have got marks 30 uh, the data frame is printed here okay now let me see another task so let's get all the students who got grade a okay you can see right and here we have our parent data frame and we want to access only that rows who got grade a okay let me execute that statement now okay like we want to mention the condition here that means the column grade which is having element a okay let me execute this statement now okay you can see right only students who got a grade a is printed here so first of all we want to mention the condition always we want to mention the condition in this uh, square brackets okay and same has goes above also we want to mention the df dot marks that means those students who got marks greater than 30 i want to access all the rows okay you got clarity now right so if i want to access multiple columns not like only one column you want to access multiple columns right so for that we want to mention all the column names in the list format so we, we can do exactly like this yeah you can get only that columns which has been mentioned in the list okay yeah so with all these concepts you you have got much clarity right how we can access elements based upon a condition and also multiple columns how we can access rows using dot i log function and all other functionalities okay guys thanks for your time yeah